This is the first of a series here at uh, the Bridgeport Museum across Thursdays in June, so come back to the others. I want to start off by just talking a little bit about archaeological understanding of climate change and how archaeology is uh, influenced by climate change in various different ways. What is one new or surprising thing you've learned from today's lecture? Uh, the surprise is probably that um, archaeology is relevant to the climate change issue. You know, it shows us how humans have reacted to climate change in the past. Perhaps, uh, you know, we should be looking at it again, in a slightly different light. I think the discussion helped more, really, with showing that, uh, uh, that the people have started to appreciate that there is something significant here that's going on. It uh, really demonstrates how, how close the, and relevant the museum collections are to the kinds of variety of researches that go on at University College. Through individual objects, as I'm going to show you, it gives an insight into individual peoples and a sense of how people in the past, individuals in the past, dealt with climate change. So we have a, a long history of collaboration in all sorts of um, ways between archaeologists and uh, anthropologists and, and all kinds of ologists um, because we're so close together in, in, in this area. What's nice is to share the outcomes of uh, those collaborations with uh, a, a general public and people who just perhaps wandered into the museum today with no idea that this lecture is happening and who have joined in.